Hey guys, Ginger Adventures here. I'm in my Uber and I have met one of the best people um, ever. What an incredible man, his name is Eddie. He's from Nigeria and we've been sharing some moments and, uh, and he, he agrees that we want to tell this story about respect, about appreciating God, about appreciating America and just truly understanding and realizing how great we have it here and then stopping this, this attitude of, of entitlement, of lack of respect for elders, for authority, and for just tradition, for things that are wholesome and good. And this is such a wonderful message, I can't wait to share it with you guys. Check it out. It's not easy to come here right. and be great. Right. But they don't, but they don't know people here. They don't want to do anything. They just want to wake up and start sleeping the TV, television, watch movies. Play video games. Play video games. Absolutely. Pay, time, pay, 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 uh, pay your whatever. Pay, pay your taxes. Pay your taxes. Yep. Sorry, pay your taxes. Yep. Help this country grow. It's so sad, no. Eddie, when, when, when there's so many people that are entitled. No. When they are entitled to believe that they don't have to work, that they should get paid, you know, hundreds of thousands Since of dollars who? for doing nothing. Since who? They give you full stamp, they give you housing, they, all those things should stop. I couldn't agree stop. more. I could not agree more. They should stop. Well, and, so that people can be serious for one time. For yep. once. Well, and how often that when you're given something for free, you don't appreciate it. No, because you, you know it's always going to be there. Yep. You do. My country, nothing is free. Nothing. If they can tax you for, for your breath, the air you breathe, they will tax you. Really? Yes. And there is no job, nothing. Come, come. This country is too blessed. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just true. too extra. It's, the blessing is extraordinary. It's unexplainable. We have it too good. You know, the, the previous generations that had been through wars and had been through struggles, they get it. They've worked for it. But, but my generation, the millennial generation, we've been raised with a silver spoon in our mouths. Everything, all, everything is as, as you want it. Everything is right now. Everything is, you don't have to work for it. Everything is cheap. Cheap. We get it. Food. Yep. In my country, you have money to buy a car like this. There is no good road to drive it. Really? There is no fuel, uh, there is no gas fuel to put on it because it's too expensive. Wow. There is no electricity. You can be out of electricity for three, three, four, five days. Really? At the end of the month, you are going to pay. They're going to bring a BP and you will pay. You have no choice. You have to pay. But this country cannot go without electricity one day. One day is even too much. One hour. Yeah, and then you they cannot go without electricity. Right. Do you know? The, do you know that how much blessing that is? Just having electricity and running Just water. Just having electricity around you. Yeah. There is security. Look, there is good road. There is schools everywhere, and the government will give you a grant to go to school. Oh no, I'm sick. Yeah, it is. I'm <laughs> sick. I'm sick. No, we free. And pay back, pay back whenever you have it. Right. Oh no. Yeah. Mm. We have it too easy. It's too easy. It's too cheap. They got it too cheap. That's exactly right, Eddie. It makes me sad, you know, that, that so many people that have, have never been anywhere else in the world, they have no idea. And what'd you say that they call the they call America? God's own country. God's own country. country. That is what <laughs> where I come from. I love it's that. God's own country. G oh. and a big letter O D O O W N yeah. country God's, God's own, own country. country. That is where how we how, how we refer to America. I love that. It's the greatest nation in the world. Oh. People can pay millions just to come see how it looks and go back. They were interviewing a man. He was going through an interview and said, "Okay." Uh, let them put you, let them transport you to America, but before you say America, they will put you in jail for one or two months. Wow. He said I will take one year. Wow. Put me in jail for one year, then let me just live in America. Right. That is to tell you how much they want to be here. They want to sacrifice before leaving him here. Oh. The people are here, they don't have it, they are not getting it. 
open your head, go to school. So how do we tell them? How do we make sure? I don't know, I don't know. People like, I have a lot of customers. I always tell them, my experience. I'm celebrated whenever I come home just for the fact that I live in America. I'm a celebrity to that. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh, Eddie lives in America. You all should respect him. It's not easy to live here. Yes. And I know the and I know it's a fact. Wow. So Eddie, so you can go to America as many times you want. Yes, because I'm a US citizen. Wow. I have the blue passport. Wow. I'm not opportune to America alone. I can go to Australia, I can go to Japan, I can go to all the European countries without visa. Right. That makes me a celebrity in my country. Wow. This country gave me that for free. Right. Look at the kind of car I work with. Oh, it's a beautiful car. The only car. president in my country can ride on a car like this. What else do I want? I am grateful. Yeah. I always say, God, bless this country for blessing me and it's working for me oh. I'm happy all the time you can tell that's one thing that bothers me too is you talk about being respected hey. in your country how, how little respect we have for each other and for our elders for the police how little we respect authority look at the way they disrespect police for doing their job oh I know how can the police you be under arrest you said no the police, I don't blame them for killing people's ass. If you disrespect the police, you deserve you deserve a punishment for that. That's the law. Yep. Police is the law. When the police said, comes out of your vehicle, your hands on your head, before the officer say, just do it. I know, I don't understand it. When they say, just do it. they say lay on the ground and they don't do they it. They don't want to do it. He can kill you. No wonder he puts, no wonder he hits you because you didn't listen. You don't listen. He went to training, he went to school to become a police, he's doing his job. Right. When he tell you jump up, just do it because he is the man with the gun. That's right. If he triggers it, you are gone. That's right. I look at some videos, people disrespecting police. Go try that in my country. Yeah, I'll kill you. They will finish you. No judgment, no court, nothing. That's it. Here, you are talking to somebody holding a gun. How dare you? Wow. Because there is freedom in America, you want to disrespect police? No, that is unacceptable. Wow. So if I hear police shooting, killing people, I don't, it's, it's okay. I know I'm a Christian, but you should learn. Give to Caesar what is Caesar, give to God what is God. Yeah. That is his job, respect him for that. Respect God, respect authority. That's correct, respect the authority. Respect your family foremost your family say officer no your hands in the back officer no why he will be asking the officer why why will you ask officer why he's doing his job yeah. when he say, your hands to your back just do it first oh that's Respect exactly right first. and the more and when you're kind to a police officer he will let you go absolutely thank you i have i have i have this little piece because of the almost at the airport yeah I was going to go pick up my customer. Yes. I have like 10 minutes to get to him. And I was in a place of like 20 minutes drive. And this is my good customer. I don't want to joke with him. I was speeding. I was going even 80 miles per hour on the 60. I saw the police uh, lights. Yeah. Instantly, I put on my double uh, thing, pulled to the side. Before the police who even said something, I said, I deserve a ticket. I deserve it. Don't even waste your... I was... He said, what's going on? I said, I'm going, I'm running to go get this customer. But I, w I know I was not supposed to be running more than the speed limit. Right, you US knew. Citizen, I knew it, but don't even pity me. Just go ahead. I will sign the ticket. Yep. They just look at me and said, I there the people like you? I was saying this, my hand was... Because I don't want him to feel. Right. Because early in the morning, maybe I want to pull up. I put my hands up. Yep. I said, just tell me whatever you want me to do, I will do it. Everything is my fault. Yeah. Do you know this police just look at me? He said, he went in, into his car because it was on the speed lane. Yeah. He blocked one of the lanes and said, gentlemen, go. Wow. Keep your good record. Oh, I, I love never that. believe it. Oh, I love that. I did not believe it up to now. Because you respected him? Because I respected him. You owned up to his your mistake? He just let me go. See, that's exactly the truth. 
So if other people do the same thing I do, they most of them will go. Yep. Respect police. Oh, Eddie, I love that. They let me go. I, I can't love forget that. that twice uh, that has happened to me he has the authority right he has everything given right. to him by the federal government he can kill me and just say something and my life is gone so they don't even have to go to court in no, africa it doesn't no there is no court nothing so that's to tell you when you see a police respect him do not does anyone ever try to like stop the police and in, in africa yeah oh my god you are playing with death yeah they will kill you in one minute. In one minute, you will be dead. Wow. Dead. Here. Yeah. And they will they, torture you. They will torture you. They will make sure. When they will even put the the, the, the video on YouTube. Wow. It's a message to other to others. To scare everyone else. Yes, try it. And when you try it, it's dead. You will be tortured before they shoot you in the head. So even our police are way nicer and better here. Everything. The Everything. police will respect you. Maybe when they, when they pull you over, they will say, uh, good morning or good afternoon, sir. Who are you in my country for a police to, to respect you before you respect? They don't disrespect you and say, hey, you get out of the car. Right. Say good morning. Uh, do you know what your offense is? They, 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 they are calm. They want to do their job in a professionalized way. But you want to tell them, no. Uh, what do I do? You can't tell me. To, you can't tell me to step out. You no. You don't approach officer like that. He's officer of the law. He has given the permission to to to, to 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 you know to have the law against you. So you should respect him. He might let you go when you respect him. You never know. Right. It's better for me to go to jail than to disrespect an officer. Say officer, okay. I know I didn't do it, but I just have to respect you first. Take me to jail. Wow. Yes. I feel sad whenever I watch all those black American videos disrespecting officers. No. Right. It's not right. It doesn't sound right to me at all. That is so sad. Eddie. It is. It is. It is. If we all just respected each other, this, loved, loved each other, this country gave we, each other the, you know, the, 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 the respect. The respect. This country will go up and up. Japan, China, Australia, they will all pay homage. Yeah. They, though they pay homage, but this country will aim more values. I respect this country so much. Oh, it well, is such just, a pleasure. You are just my boss trip. Even though this is all I did today, I'm so fulfilled. I don't oh, know me why. too. I'm just so fulfilled. Oh, uh, I can't even too. go home from here. I don't care. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm feel, I just I just voice my anger. I'm good. Oh, well, Eddie, it's been, a, it's been a real pleasure for me. <laughs> you, I want to shake your hand. Oh, you, you so are much. such a good man. Thank you so much. Thank I can't you. wait to put this on YouTube. People are going to love it. <laughs> this is Eddie. If you're ever in Houston, you look him up. What an incredible man. Yeah, he ate, uh, he ate limo. Just check out for me. That's right. Good day to you all. That's yeah. right. What a positive <laughs> message, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank See you next time.